All right, back again, Luke here. And today we've got the Amiga 500. We have our mouse, joystick here, cables all plugged in, power supply, and I figured we could put in this game here, Turrican 2. So let's pop this in and play some of that. Now I just wound up getting this thing all put back together here. I put a battery holder in for the 512K of memory and got that installed as well as the new drive. So we'll give it a test here and see how it works out. And there's the kind of opening screen here asking us to put in the workbench. And let's pop this in here and test some of that. Wow, that fired right up. A lot different than uh, the last drive, that's for sure. If you guys remember, that thing used to kind of click and take forever. It used to turn on and shut off, so... Uh, at the beginning here, it looks like by pressing a couple of uh, the F buttons, we might be able to get some extended life or unlimited energy, things like that. Diamonds and things, etc. I think since this is my first time giving it a go, we're going to go with unlimited lives. There we go. And one interesting thing here that I've learned throughout owning this machine for, for the time and all the help on it is you need to press the left is it left button on the mouse and that seems to do it and then I'll get it to load up here love this controller it's really wild just got one button on it I don't know how it's gonna work though <laughs> but uh, hopefully it'll work out all right and we'll be able to do a bit of gameplay see if this thing starts out. oh there it goes all right let's crank this up Oh yeah, there we go. Woohoo! Let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit more here. Let's give this a go here. Give it a shot. Press the old button. Alright, here's our intro screen. This is going to be challenging here. I have absolutely no clue on how to play this one, especially with one button. So. movement okay left right that's our fire it's duck oh no up is jump <laughs> this is gonna get hard ah. no. <laughs> there's one guy dead Great. so in order to jump here we got to press the up button that is Whoa. Jeez. All right, we got some power-ups, that's kind of cool. Jump! This is awesome, beautiful graphics, great sound. Can we go in here? I guess so. Man, this thing rocks. Maybe we should turn up the volume a bit more. It's pretty awesome. It's quite challenging here with the uh, I'll be in the jump button. I think I need something with a rapid uh, fire on here. <laughs>
just getting a little bit sore here from all the pushing. So. Whoa. Okay. Not sure if this is the right way to go or not. But. Oh, that's kind of awesome. And this thing takes a lot of hits, doesn't it? But, uh, terrific looking game here. Wish I had a whole lot of stuff to say about it. Uh, pretty new at the game. Just getting a chance to get this thing running. Oh. Oh, come on. There we go. Ow, ow. Hopefully this is the right way to go. <laughs> Some sound effects there. Sounds like a goat. Okay. Guess I can't go through there, so. But this game is terrific. I'm really digging it. It's just the, uh, the hardest part, I think, about it is the controls. Pressing up and stuff like that to uh, move left or right. Or pressing up to jump, sorry. Up and left and right to get around is pretty tricky. Mm. The labyrinth. I guess you can't fall down any further than that. Okay. Ah, uh, learning experience. Boss. This guy looks pretty cool. Whoa. Wonderful. gameplay, I know. And this guy does not want to die. This is like uh, definitely one of the back in the day bosses that took forever to kill unless there's some sort of secret here. Oh wow, that took quite a few hits there. <laughs> right at the end there. 
the spikes go falling down. Awesome. Alright. Which way to go? I guess follow the snake head. Jeez. Power up. Okay. But yeah, I'm totally digging this. This is pretty awesome. As far as the uh, jumps, though, this is the hard part here. Hopefully you guys are getting a little bit of a <laughs> enjoyment out of this. I know this is really, really poor here as far as gameplay goes, but giving me a chance to try this out here for the first time, and I'm totally digging it. I think Turk Edmund is awesome. I think some of the best things about this game are definitely the music and the graphics. The visuals are just amazing. But yeah, nonetheless, just want to show you guys a little bit of a look at Turrican 2 here for the Amiga 500. First time for me to actually get a chance to play this here. And uh, it's an awesome game. This is really, really a challenging one, though. Wow. Just death galore. Trying to figure out what I can go into and what I can't go into in here. Probably all the water and stuff is all bad. Oh no, 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 no. Just one jump miss. This thing really reminds me of the uh, kind of skeletons and stuff like that from Castlevania. I knew that was going to happen. Wow, what did I just run into? Ah, uh, timeout. <laughs> This is uh, one of those things that definitely requires a bit of, uh, ah man, no, of uh, level memorization here, as you can see, I'm not doing so well at. But nonetheless, just want to show you guys a little bit of a look at what Turrican 2 looks like here for the Amiga 500. Awesome game. And uh, once I get a little bit better at it, I think I'll enjoy it quite a bit more. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. That might actually be my second time saying that. I can't remember. <laughs> Get up there! No, I did it again. Alright, forget it. I'm going a different way. Can I go a different way? I can go straight down. To death. Oh, that's not death. No! Where did this bring me? Back to the beginning of the stage? No! Is this the very beginning? It looks like it. That's insane! No! I was up on the second level and it brought me all the way back down to the first stage. This is tricky. Yeah, this is where that boss was. Wow. No mercy in this game.
even tell if I'm going the right way or not. <laughs> Just going with the flow. That's probably not the right way. I should title this Luke Sucks at Turrican 2, but enjoys it nonetheless. Without multiple hits or stuff like that, just this game will destroy you. Or the multiple lives thing. No way. That's all I did that for. Unlimited lives and Luke went for a one up. Wonderful. So that's unlimited plus one. Woohoo! Well, if anything, you guys can just kick back, relax, enjoy the music, ignore the gameplay, just put on some headphones and kind of veg out. Oh, the exit! Yay! How long did it take me to find that? 17 minutes. Jeez. Many people are gonna hate me for wasting 17 minutes of your life. But we got some new music. <laughs> this is cruel and unusual punishment. It's not fair. Oh, you thought you were gonna get me there, didn't you? Nope, you got me there, though. Okay. <laughs> I just wanna jump! No! Why can I not jump? I can't move. There we go. This is cheap and cruel. controller that had a jump button on it instead of having the joystick pressed up. I think it might be a bit easier. I'm wondering if somebody's uh, created one of those or not because I would like to try and find one. times you can physically die in such a short time. This game must have been a nightmare for kids. Actually, thinking about it, like when you're younger you're pretty good at games. It's like when you get older you start to get really bad at them. Into a 
spot where I'm not supposed to go. This is obviously not the correct way, is it? that's about it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, learning experience I suppose ah. definitely gonna have to get some more practice in here maybe check out some tutorials on where everything is but hey thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you guys next time Woo